and then we will see whether North Korea is indeed or not uh, supporting um, Russia's illegal uh, war in Ukraine. The head of NATO on Tuesday warned that the transfer of North Korean troops to fight for Russia in Ukraine would be what he called a significant escalation. If they would be sending troops uh, to Ukraine, that would mark a significant escalation. That would really be uh, uh, important. Secretary General Mark Root was in Estonia for meetings with NATO members and said he didn't yet have confirmation Pyongyang had deployed soldiers to assist Moscow's fight. It's the latest warning that North Korea may soon step directly or indirectly into the conflict on the side of Russia. Here's the UK Defence Minister speaking in Parliament on Tuesday. It is now highly likely that the transfer of hundreds of combat troops from North Korea to Russia has begun. The Kremlin on Monday declined to directly answer a question on whether North Korean troops were going to fight in Ukraine. A Kremlin spokesman said Moscow's cooperation with Pyongyang was not directed against third countries. It's been more than two years since Russian forces stormed into Ukraine in what Moscow called a special military operation. But tenacious defenders armed with Western weaponry drove back the initial onslaught, and what appeared intended to be a quick conquest turned into a long and bloody war. Russia this month to support Russia's war against Ukraine. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has previously said that his government does have intelligence that North Korea would send 10,000 troops to join Russian forces. South Korea has expressed concerns that Russia might provide North Korea with sophisticated technologies that can enhance the North's nuclear and missile programs in exchange for the troops. I want to talk more about A video purporting to show dozens of North Korean recruits lining up to collect Russian military fatigues has been released by Ukrainian officials, who say it shows the introduction of troops sent by Pyongyang into the conflict. The video, published by Ukraine Center for Strategic Communications and Information Security, which operates under the Culture and Information Ministry, allegedly shows North Korean soldiers standing in line to pick up bags, clothes and other apparel from Russian servicemen. We received this video from our own sources. We cannot provide additional verification from the sources who provided it to us due to security concerns, said Ayer Salovey, the head of the center. The video clearly shows North Korean citizens being given Russian uniforms under the direction of the Russian military, he said. For Ukraine, this video is important because it is the first video evidence that shows North Korea participating in the war on the side of Russia. Now not only with weapons and shells, but also with personnel. The center claims the footage was shot by a Russian soldier in recent days. It comes after the head of Ukrainian military intelligence, Kirill Budinov, claimed in local media that about 11,000 North Korean infantrymen were currently training in eastern Russia. He predicted they would be ready to join fighting by November. At least 2,600 would be sent to Russia's Kursk region, where Ukraine launched an incursion in August, he was quoted as saying, The emergence of any number of new soldiers is a problem because we will simply need new, additional weapons to destroy them all, Solovey told AP. The dissemination of this video is important as a signal to the world community that with two countries officially at war against Ukraine, we will need more support to repel this aggression. The presence of North Korean soldiers in Ukraine, if true, would be further proof of intensified military ties between Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Last summer, they signed a strategic partnership treaty that commits both countries to provide military assistance. North Korean weapons have already been used in the Ukraine war. Russia 
금수산 영빈관 정원은 금수산 영빈관 정원의 사이를 표시했습니다. 한 사이를 표하면서 최대의 성의를 담아 마련한 선물을 김정은 동지께 드렸습니다. 풍속에서 살한 조선인민군 군인의 힘과 지상 세기와 용맹이 비수가들 굳은 교리가 가슴마다에 비껴 있습니다. 자, 넘넘하고 믿음직한 모습들이 바로 조국이 난도 높은 여러 가지 격파 동작을 연방 수행하고 있는 우리의 용맹한 전투원들에게 관중들은 열광적인 박수를 보내고 있습니다. 
schnitzel hits the fitzel. Guys, I'm only at 70% today, but I am glad to be back. Holy shit. What the hell is going on in this world? Before we talk about Iran about to strike Israel's nuclear power plant in response to Israel's attack, which most pundits are saying is coming in 48 hours. I don't know if I believe that. Either way, there's a 75% chance it's going to happen before the election. Before we talk about that, let's just appreciate something for a second. Let's appreciate this, okay? I mean, I don't want to say I told you so, but we fucking told you so. $2,756. We were just in here nine months ago talking about a new record gold price at $2,100 an ounce. And here we are. Like, how did this, like, it's just been one long day this year. It's one long day until day X, baby. And holy shit, this is bad news. If you hold gold, you're looking at your bank account going up. But I'm telling you, this reflects currency debasement. This reflects global disorder, the bifurcation into two world power blocks that we're seeing today. I mean, we're talking about gold bars at Costco can't be held in stock, okay? $2,800 an ounce, 50% more than it was a year ago, 50%. I know we've been desensitized to this number, but guys, this is, this is crazy. We're here. This is the mount up. This is the collapse. It's not going to be like the movies where it's all in like an hour and a half, right? Before you can finish your popcorn, but it's, it's happening fast. Holy shit. Is it happening fast? Look, Back in 2021, the Iranians, they simulated an attack on a life-size, full-scale carbon copy of the Demona nuclear power plant in Israel. They built one in the desert to scale, and they proceeded to completely annihilate it with pinpoint precision using ballistic missiles launched from hundreds of miles away. Now, why am I showing you this now? The reason why I'm showing you this now is because it is very likely that before the election, I would give it a 75% chance that Israel is going to launch the mother of all attacks on Iran, which is going to start the biggest war Likely since the Vietnam War, but it'll probably be much worse than the Vietnam War. Now, there's a very good chance, according to numerous Israeli media pundits, retired generals, that it's actually going to happen in the next 48 hours. Now, they've been saying it's going to happen in the next 48 hours.